The blue-collar town of Joliet, Illinois, is located just 45 miles southwest of Chicago. Some of its most notable residents include Lionel Richie, Mike Allstott, and George Mikan. But no one embodies the spirit of the city more than Daniel Rudiger, better known as Rudy. He was an undersized walk-on in Notre Dame whose story was brought to life on the big screen. But before Notre Dame, he was part of a proud tradition at Joliet Catholic High School. That tradition includes 13 state titles in its 92-year history. Now the Hilltoppers appear to be on the verge of another, thanks to senior tailback Ty Isaac. At 6'3 and 220 pounds, Isaac is a gazelle on the football field. There's Ty Isaac up the middle. He may be gone. One to the 50, to the 40, to the 30. Good. Five to the 30. Over the window. Here she goes. As he enters his fourth and final season of play, he's shattered most every school record including a 515-yard, six-touchdown performance against Montini in the state title game. Yeah, it's a state championship game, so it's also an Illinois record, state record, you know, for 515 yards. I mean, he had 300 yards at halftime. I mean, it was unbelievable. A lot of, a lot of long runs. It felt like, man, we were on the field for about four or five plays. We'd score, and they'd score, and we'd be right back out. Well, it was one of the greatest performances I've ever seen by a running back and by our offensive line. Both were just tremendous, a tremendous game that they had. Unfortunately, we couldn't stop them. <laughs> Despite the record-breaking performance, Joliet Catholic came up just short of winning its 14th state title. Last year was a crazy season, just, you know, passing up a lot of people in just one season and, uh, you know, breaking a lot of records. It was nice accolades, but, you know, obviously we didn't get everything that we needed. For head coach Dan Sharp, living up to the expectations of the fans has become increasingly difficult. Well, the football program at Joliet Catholic, we're going into our 93rd season. It's a tradition that's been a big part of our community, and it's been an honor for me to be able to come back here. I'm very humbled, and, and the challenge is always to live up to the standards that were set by those that came before us. And uh, we see that when you talk to Ty's dad and, and Ty, and, and we have many fathers, sons that have played here, uncles, brothers, and uh, the tradition is just long lived here. Ty's father, Tyrone, was a standout tailback in the late 1980s and the leading rusher on the state championship team at Joliet Catholic his senior season. That says that's a great deal because you have a lot of fondness on combinations, but rarely do you have him play in the same position. And in a position of running back, which is a premier position here at Joliet Catholic, and to have the quality of running back that Tyrone was when he was here and help lead his team to a state championship game. And uh, now you have Ty Isaac, his son, who could be the, one of the greatest players in school history as he comes out here. It's, it's remarkable. I didn't know the tradition about, you know, the football program and the school when I first entered as a freshman. And I can remember going to football practice and so forth and, you know, coaches t talking about the tradition and this and that. And I'm like, man, I don't get it. You know, I, I just don't get it. But by the time I graduated, I fully understood. I wish that the first college that I went to would have tradition like that. And uh, I remember telling Mike Ty from the time he was a little kid about tradition, you know, about, you know, look at these stands. I go, when you get to play here, some of these same people will be in the stands. And it's true, I mean, it's people in the stands from when I played. Although he's quick to admit that he pales in comparison, he's hoping that history will repeat itself. If it does, he plans on buying a state championship ring for himself, one he couldn't afford the first time around, and of course, one for his son. Yeah, it'd be something special, you know what I'm saying? Uh, to have something we can share like that. I know he's on the sideline for every game, and uh, the journey through the season and through playoffs, it, it's, it's big for everybody involved, so I think that'd be really cool if we got one. This will be my fourth year, and every year we've been going for you know state championship number 14, so. You know, we've been on the grind for it for a long time and, you know, coming in you really don't realize how important it is because you see all the other teams winning, but, you know, the sense of urgency is so high this year since it's my last year and we do anything we can to get it. Playing at a traditional powerhouse like Joliet Catholic is something that he's enjoyed and will look to replicate after graduation while he attends USC. You know, I just wanted to find a place where I felt like I fit with the people in the program, the players, um, you know, obviously with the football, the social life, and uh, 
You know, when I got out there, I really liked all the players on the team, all the kids that were coming in with the, my class that I'm committed to, and uh, just the coaches and everybody involved with the program. You know, I felt real comfortable and uh, can't beat the location. While winning that elusive state title serves as the immediate goal, Isaac's future beyond that includes dreams of a national championship and a Heisman Trophy. While those may seem like lofty goals for most, that's not the case for Isaac. He is considered by many to be the top running back in the class of 2013. I think the combination of the player he is and the person he is, you know, I think he, he can meet any challenge. So, like I said, it would not surprise me one bit if he doesn't end up on the top of all the records when it's all said and done.